good morning on this winter day when we got some snow make it feel like winter from Hosea chapter 4 we worship God not idols he writes my people inquire of a piece of wood and their walking staff gives them oracles they sacrifice on the tops of the mountains and burn offerings on the hills under oak poplar and terebinth because their shade is good like a stubborn heifer Israel is stubborn can the Lord now feed them like a lamb in a broad pasture? Ephraim is joined to idols, leave him alone. A wind has wrapped them in its wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Hosea is mocking all idol worship, imagining that a rock or a stick or a tree can be your God is absurd, since God created all things. Idolatry is unbelief, which refuses to believe in the immortal, eternal God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and instead worships the stuff of this world. People, whatever they trust, becomes their idol. So people may not bow down to a tree or a stick, but they will bow down to the money in their wallet, <clears throat> to fame, to their possessions, to the things of this world, to their leisure time. That becomes their God. Instead, St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 12, You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit who has enabled us to confess Jesus is Lord along with the Father and the Holy Spirit, we will ever follow the true God and steer away from all idols. We come to the divine service to receive the gifts of the true and living God who created us all. Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus for all people according to their needs. Gracious Creator, your Son commanded demons and they obeyed him. So that afflicted people were set free, cast out the forces of darkness both open and hidden in our world. Give courage, faith, peace, and relief to our brotherhood throughout the world who suffer for the sake of Christ, and hold your children in your care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive our sins, Lord, especially the false acts that cannot pass for real love. Enable us to reflect your love, which is patient and kind, does not envy or boast, is not arrogant or rude, and does not insist on its own way. Fill our lives with good works that truly care for others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Enjoy the day, stay away from idols, and worship God alone.